So like many sports or many disciplines, you have a lot of people having different opinions. And this one is just my opinion based on my experience. And I'll throw in a little research as well. Are steel toe working boots good enough for riding motorcycles? What? Come here for motorcycle gear? You gotta be kidding me. All right, so I'm gonna share with you what I think are the really great motorcycle shoes. Uh, and that's these right here. Uh, let me get a focus yeah, right here. Brahma. Let me switch the camera. That's these right here. They're steel toe, you know, they cover your ankle and stuff. They're... I gotta tell you, I've had my, <clears throat> on a couple of occasions I went practicing, I've had my foot stuck underneath my the motorcycle, get caught underneath the motorcycle, they protected me every time. But here's the best part of it, $32.98. I mean, shoot, you can't beat that. I mean, heck, that's pretty freaking good. All right, so let's cut to the chase. Are steel toe working boots good enough for riding motorcycles? And in my opinion, I say yes. My opinion is based on experience. And I'm going to also mention some research also. But listen, if you look at my channel, you'll see that I uploaded a video where I was practicing U-turns. And in the process of me practicing, I actually got my left foot caught underneath the left rear saddlebag guard and it was pretty painful but you know what these by the way walmart boots did a really good job of protecting my ankle and my foot in general if i were wearing these like motorcycle shoes that i got from harley davidson which by the way i don't care what you say in my opinion motorcycle shoes offer you no type of protection whatsoever look at the ankle protection here Look at that. Look how flimsy that is. I really don't know what would have happened if I were wearing these shoes. So um, one other thing that I want to say is I've already been through a couple of motorcycle accidents. And, um, you know, these boots, these steel toe boots have been doing a really good job of protecting my feet and my ankles. Right now, this is also based on my experience after having a couple of motorcycle accidents as well. But here's the thing that bothers me, right? There are people who just th talk theoretically and really don't even know what they're talking about. I mean, um, I subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, from this guy. His, uh, his YouTube channel is called Gasworks. And I really like, I really like his channel. I think it's a great channel. But then again, I don't, agree with everything that he says and he did a really good job on this video on motorcycle boots but there's one part in this video where he mentions steel toe boots that i just don't agree with this is what he said uh, every part of your body is important not just your head one thing that i've heard several times in the past even from people that i know uh, they say well i've got a good pair of work boots i just wear my work boots while riding let me uh, point out something to you guys about wearing work boots while riding a motorcycle. Uh, the steel toe that's in those work boots like that, that a lot of guys ride with, when you crush that toe, it doesn't uncrush. If you were to have an accident on your motorcycle wearing steel toed boots and your toe box got crushed, you're basically getting your toes amputated. Uh, the nice thing about proper riding boots, proper motorcycle boots, they have very good toe protection, a good toe box in it. But if you crush this part of your boot in a motorcycle accident, it will come back. It's not going to lock in place like a steel-toed boot would. So just uh, just think about that next time when you're thinking about going out on a ride in you, and you put your construction boots on, and you think that's going to be good enough protection for you. Here's the thing that bothers me. He's talking theoretically. He's not talking from practical experience. But here I have some videos of a guy who shoots a 45 caliber bullet into a steel toe boot and it does not penetrate. Furthermore, here's another video where this guy has this truck running over his foot with a steel toe boot and it does not bend. So here's here's the bottom line, right? Is that if you're in an accident that actually bends a steel toe boot, I don't care if you're wearing a steel toe boot or not. Your toes are gone, dude.
your toes up. What kind of accident are you talking about? Here's another thing. I'll, I'll throw some research at you, right? There was this case study on motorcycle accidents, and this particular study had to do with a woman riding a motorcycle in Austria. She took a turn. For some unknown, unknown reason, she lost control of her motorcycle, and part of her motorcycle actually slammed into this concrete post. The bottom line is she ended up losing a toe. But here's the interesting point. Look at the boot that she was wearing. Well, that to me looks like a motorcycle boot. So really when it really when it boils down to everything, right? We really can't predict what kind of accident we're going to have and what we're going to need during that accident. We just got to take the best precautious measures that we can. And, you know, a motorcycle boot may not be the best option. And, a, and maybe a steel toe work boot may not be the same option. But the bottom line and where I stand on this is that having some sort of protection is better than having no protection. I see a lot of guys out there just riding a Harley in flip flops and shorts. I mean, I, that's to me is, is, that to me is the most dumbest thing I've ever seen. All right. So in conclusion, let me build a scenario for you. You just finished buying your first motorcycle, but now you've got to buy a bunch of motorcycle gear. So you go out and you buy yourself a helmet. You go out and buy yourself some gloves. You go out and buy yourself a jacket. Maybe you buy some motorcycle padded pants. Maybe you go out and buy yourself some motorcycle boots, or you just go to Walmart <laughs> and buy yourself some work boots. So anyway, um, I hope this video was somewhat helpful, and um, God bless you. I'll see you at the next video.